I just got back from the Flip Trade Show in Chattanooga. Uh, this was an awesome show, lots of fun. Um, about 200 tables uh, that were set up there. Uh, a lot of baseball, basketball, football, a little bit of hockey. Um, so I did pick up some hockey cards, I picked up some football cards too. Uh, I also got to meet up with fellow YouTuber David M. Uh, I've got a link to his channel in the description below. Uh, he was a great guy. First time meeting in person, even though we're like about two hours away from each other. Um, great to chat with him and just uh, talk uh, sports cards in general. So today we're going to take a look at what I picked up. I'm Brandon. This is Rocky Hockey. Let's drop the puck. All right, we're going to start off with a couple of graded cards. Um, picked up both of these cards from the same seller. Uh, first up is this William Eklund in a PSA 9. This is his Young Guns from 2021. And I picked up the Jack Quinn Young Guns, also a PSA 9. Um, these were, I think they were both like around 20 bucks on a sticker price, and they took $10 off at total. Uh, which I thought was a pretty d darn good deal. Um, I would say, I, first and foremost, I'm an Avalanche fan, but like, I guess secondary teams. Uh, Buffalo has always got a spot for me. Uh, my wife's from Buffalo. She's a, a Sabres fan, a Bills fan, um, and I'm from California originally and grew up watching the Sharks. Um, and my brother and uh, one of his kids, they are. San Jose Sharks fans, so there's kind of a, a spot for them as well. Um, but uh, I think both of these young players have uh, a lot of upside, uh, especially William Eklund. I think he's uh, he can be a great player. He's just right now on a very, very bad team. Uh, and Jack Quinn can be a great player too, uh, just on a underperforming team, I, I guess, from last season. But we'll see what happens with the... Lenny Ruff back at a coaching position for Buffalo. We've got the throwback threads. So I am a 49er fan. Anytime I pick up some game used legends of 49ers, uh, that's a pretty easy uh, decision for me. Here we got the Roger Craig. And on the back side, the Frank Gore. Both uh, game used material. Number 31 of 99. Pretty cool card, um, a, a thicker card, I guess, since you got to fit material on both sides. And then I picked up this other Roger Craig from the same seller. They had these two cards together. Uh, this is the SP Rookie Threads. Has two little inserts there of the red jersey, uh, 49 of 99, which is kind of a nice touch uh, for the 49ers. Uh, this is, let's see here, Legendary Numbers. And there's the back, also game used. I wish uh, all the modern hockey had game used material for their rookie stuff, but usually don't. But I thought that was a pretty cool looking card. And the last football card I have here is this Charles Haley autograph, Milestone Scripts. Let's see, they're five times Super Bowl champion. Nice on card autograph. The auto itself is a little rough. That's okay. At the, there's the back, number 25 of 99. Happy to grab this one. I think they wanted this for, it was like 20 bucks. And then I picked up a couple hockey cards. I don't remember which ones, um, but I got this plus the, I think it was like two lower end hockey cards, um, all for 20 bucks. So I was happy with that. And we've got a little stack of hockey singles here, starting off with the Luke Hughes from Trilogy. This is the level two rookie premiere to $6.99. Got a nice rainbow effect to it. And then also his, uh, also from Trilogy, the red level one to 199, 186 of 199. Um, I don't collect a ton of Trilogy, but uh, at least they use different photos. So it's not just a, I guess a parallel. 
if there are different levels, level one, level two. It's funny that level one is shorter printed, but maybe that's just because it's red. I'm not really sure, but happy to grab those Luke Hughes. I got a Peyton Krebs autograph uh, from Black Diamond. So the sparkling scripts. Quick little auto there, not too, too bad. I've seen worse. Um, but hopefully uh, Peyton Krebs can take a, a next step with Buffalo. Uh, this is not his rookie. His rookie would be with uh, Vegas. He was traded to Buffalo. There's the back. Uh, not number or anything. And then for the set building, build the uh, sets for all the young guns, the uh, Caden Primo, uh, or Primo. Um, I don't have this one, so I found this one and another one in here in a minute. I'm happy to add to the set building. And I saw this one, um, Dante Fabro um, from Clear Cut. So it is an acetate card, and it is a nice little rookie shield on there. Uh, this was five bucks. So rookie auto from Clear Cut for $5. I think that's a pretty good deal, um, even if he is a you know l lesser known. Uh, he's not a superstar or anything like that, but happy to add that one to the Nashville collection. And here we go. We've got the Jerome Aginla here with the Avalanche. A little game used piece of material. Upper deck portfolio. Um, I'm sure most people think of Aginla. They don't think of Avalanche, but probably Calgary. Uh, here's the back. Uh, game used hockey memorabilia. I think this was just a couple bucks. So. Um, along with this one here, I thought this was a pretty sweet looking card. Uh, Brady Shea from Black Diamond. We've got the three color premium relic patch. 18 of 50. Awesome looking card. Um, I bought this, for, I think it was like 4 or $5. Um, pretty darn good deal, I think, too. And this one is also game used. For Black Diamond. Man, that's a sweet looking card. Uh, and here's that other young gun. Dylan Holloway, Edmonton Oiler young gun. I'll go into the collection. And then the last card I picked up. The Joe Sackick and in the Team Canada uniform. All time greats. This is from 2012. Numbered 92 of 99. And it is a pretty thick card, which was kind of surprising for not being like a piece of material or a patch card or anything like that. Uh, there's the back. Uh, that was a nice way to end it off there with. This was an awesome show to go to. I had a lot of fun. Great to meet up with David. Just again, check out his channel here. Also coming up this Friday, I am gonna be on the OT Hockey Show. Uh, it'll be this Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'll leave a link to that show as well. Uh, and this is actually my first live, I guess, podcast, I guess, that I'll be on. So looking forward to chatting hockey and hockey cards with these guys. Uh, if you want to check it out, click on the link below. That again, Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Have a great day.